today we're going to experiment with a uh, lithium battery here to power the uh, diesel heater. Uh, this thing is a 20 amp hour. I picked it up off of Amazon. Uh, I believe it was like on sale or whatever. They do those uh, uh, price drops, whatever. I think I paid like 80 bucks for this thing, 20 amp hours. Supposedly I should be able to get two nights out of this thing. Um, it's got a positive and a negative terminal. And then it also has one of those uh, uh, plugins. I don't, don't, don't know exactly what you call this, but that's what we're probably using today. Typically, I plug this uh, cigarette lighter straight into my truck. I just use the main truck battery to power this diesel heater. But I've also made this uh, cigarette lighter plug a portable one uh, with the correct uh, outlet for the battery here. That way I don't have to worry about the terminals. And this will just plug right into here. Now that gives me a cigarette lighter outlet for the diesel heater. Got the heater all set up. Let's see if we can fire this bad boy up. I just turned it on. All right, things firing up right now, and we'll see what the battery reads. Three and thirteen, twelve, and it's still. Uh, firing up I believe all right sounds like the heater is running at uh, basically the setting I have it set for which I believe right around 2.9 Hertz or that's what basically what the I control mine through the fuel pump so all right I just turned it up I'm gonna put it to uh, 5 Hertz basically the full full steam ahead the highest uh, setting I can have this on see what it does for the voltage and see if the battery can still handle it. All right, I got this thing cranking, sitting right around five hertz. Uh, and it's pushing out a lot of heat right now. Battery voltage is still sitting at 15, 15 volts. And like I said, resting was around 16. Um, I just had this on the charge, the battery on a charger. Uh, before bringing it out here. So the battery's fully charged and it's sitting right around 15 volts running it at 5 hertz on the fuel pump. Seems like this might be a good uh, portable solution for those that don't want to have to uh, drain their, their uh, car battery. And All right, now that we know everything works, I'm gonna power this thing off. Let's see if I can fit the battery inside. Interesting to see what the voltage does on this as it powers down. All right, the unit just powered off. So we'll be able to see what the resting voltage is on this thing. Also, I didn't run it for that long, so it should be sitting pretty close to fully charged still. Uh, I don't know what the, I didn't really look up the specs. Um, it's supposed to be a 12.8 volt uh, lithium battery, but fully charged, it seems to sit or yeah, it likes to sit resting around 16 volts. All right, I got a couple of pieces of scrap aluminum in here. It's gonna raise the battery up a little bit so it's not sitting on my fuel line. Uh, gotta add a couple more pieces in there, space it out. That way it sits just above the fuel line and then the battery will drop right in, right over that. All right, I got these uh, scrap aluminum pieces uh, double-sided taped in here and the black pieces are kind of just wedged in there 
I have this USB uh, voltmeter thing that used to be, or that's still here. I had to take this out just so I have enough room to fit the battery in. Yeah, like a glove, like it was meant to be. It's wedged in here with very minimum space. I mean, add a couple of things in here to keep it from wiggling around but this should be a good spot for the battery to live and then I just gotta run this plug right here I'm gonna tap into here and then I'm just gonna tee right into where the the battery uh, or where the exterior one used to go or exterior one went to that way everything is all contained inside. I won't have to use this unless the battery is dead and I can just plug it into the vehicle from the exterior. But this would should eliminate the setup time or minimize the setup time where I just got to plug the controller in and then set up the hose for the hot air and then the exhaust and that's it. All right, so I got the battery fitted. Uh, got It's wedged in here. I got a couple of uh, old gloves. It's just temporary, uh, semi-temporary fix, I guess. Um, got the, the plug right here. This will have to be unplugged every time, uh, unless I put a switch in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But uh, basically this will just plug in. I teed it in, soldered it into the main line. Uh, I won't need to be using the cigarette lighter plug anymore unless this battery dies. So I have two sources of power, or two ways of powering this thing up. Um, this thing will have to be charged, um, still got, I, I got a, a wall outlet plug that, that's set up to charge lithium batteries. I don't know, uh, how I'm going to do this out in the field, but, um, this is just, uh, uh, I guess, a, a working prototype. We'll still have to figure those things out down the line. Far so good. There it is. Battery powered uh, diesel heater now, or a portable diesel heater. Fresh air.